we now have more add-ons such as car, train, and airplane real-time recognition targets for the Sony A7R Mark V. In this video, I thought it'd be interesting to test how well the camera recognizes a toy car, cars parking, cars on the freeway, and an RC car, remote control car, and see how sticky the accuracy, the reliability when shooting videos using the A7R Mark V. Let's start with a pullback toy car. It obviously recognizes it pretty well, especially the headlights and all angles. But when my thumb is in the way, it loses it a bit. So you know the white box around it means the camera recognizes it as programmed it in as a car. While as you can see here that my Sony A7C is not programmed to recognize it as a car, as well as in movie mode. Before you see me driving on the freeway, you can see here that it recognizes cars, front likely because of the headlights, back likely because of the taillights, and sides likely because of the wheels. The autofocus system seems to recognize cars really well in different angles. Since I'm using car or train as recognition target, it would not pick up humans. Sedans, SUVs, minivans, compacts, trash and recycling bins, and of course, even toy cars you saw earlier, it'll pick up. Although they are parked, uh, you'll see moving ones on the freeway in a second. And a lot of moving with an AC car later on in the video. Here I'm also on active steady shot at the same time testing its in-body optical stabilization. The advanced 5 axis in-body optical up to 8 stop stabilization. Right now I'm in a driver view. It's not at all safe to do this while driving, so I suggest you don't try this. I am using tracking on toggle, meaning I am toggling between subjects with a button to lock on when the subject is in the center. I have a video on this, please check that out. It's quite a useful feature as you could see here in this scenario. Here, when a car is in the center, I would toggle to lock on and track temporarily and then untoggle or release it to move on to the next car and do the same thing to another car to test it. Obviously, a lot is going on here. Interior shooting inside a car, shaking, holding camera hand while one is steering, freeway bumps, overexposed background, and the camera is technically fast moving, floating in a car while trying to capture other cars. And there's a dashboard in the way and windshield arm pillar also in the way. The car in the far distance is unlikely to be recognized as a car yet until, like, I catch up. Here's a side angle, no problem. And the back. Another side back angle. Same one, the back. Now, right here, I am at attempting to see if it recognizes a cargo trailer and the truck that is pulling the trailer. I didn't toggle it for the truck, dang it. I am trying something very dangerous here, trying to capture a car in the rear view mirror. Please don't try this. Finally, for the intro for the RC car, this clip here, I am 
testing SNQ mode 60p. You could tell looking carefully it's in slow mo. And there is no sound, that's when you know you're using SNQ. I love this little car, it's so much fun. Now, what you're about to see, it's a little bit shaky, although using active steady shot. Because I am controlling the RC car in one hand and shooting with the other hand. Here we go. I remember I was trying to focus on two things at the same time, multitasking. I was still enjoying it. I love this little car. When it's a little far away and so small, as you know from previous clips, it couldn't recognize it. But I'll bet if I had zoomed and followed it, the box would have been extremely sticky. Unfortunately, I didn't have anyone to control the RC car for me. Here's when I knew I couldn't use the center fix focus area. Because of using one hand, no way I could center it on a fast moving subject. So here's where wide focus area is extremely useful. Just watching this, so much joy. Just want to say something about the Sony A7 IV and its autofocus system. It's also very good. It may not have as much bells and whistles as this A7R5, but it's impressively good. Check out my past videos on this. Anyway, this is all I pretty much have. And uh, thank you for watching. I do hope you come back again. Thank you again.